using Mugen Hook to select the number of tag fighters in the select screen. Disclaimer, we'll be using Mugen 1.1 running on Windows 10. So have you ever tried Mugen Hook? It's a Mugen plugin that adds additional features to the 1.1 version of Mugen. Features like animated portraits, varied character slots, and the specific feature we'll be focusing on for this video, which is restoring the legacy tag mode that was removed from 1.1. By using this particular add-on, you are able to gain an additional mode which works identically to the simultaneous mode. And if you've also watched my previous tutorial, then you know that the simultaneous mode can be converted to a fully functional 2, 3, or 4 character tag match. So given that information, it turns out that it's also possible for this game setting to be played in the restored tag mode via Mugen Hook. As a demonstration, let's install Mugen Hook and try it out. Let's begin by downloading Mugen Hook from the link in the description. Next, we'll also download the Ultimate ASI Loader. Be sure to download the 32-bit version or the one that doesn't say x64, regardless of what architecture you have. Now we should have two files in one folder. Your Mugen 1.1 folder, Mugen Hook, and the ASI Loader zip file. Let's go ahead and extract the sole file from the ASI loader zip file into the same folder where your Mugen executable file is located. Then we will rename the file that was extracted from D input 8 to D draw. And for the last step, let's extract the Mugen hook zip file to the same folder your Mugen executable is located as well. Now, before we run Mugen, let's navigate to the Mugen hook.ini file, scroll down, and change this value to true. Let's run Mugen to ensure the installation was successful. Upon running Mugen, you should see this pop-up signifying that the install was indeed successful. Furthermore, when looking at the select screen, we can also see an additional option here showing that the restored tag mode is now visible and available. The advantage of having both the normal simultaneous mode as well as the restored tag mode present means that you can choose the number of selectable tag fighters between the two modes, giving you an additional in-game tag option without the need to close the game and alter a text file. The only step we need to do beforehand is select from the two through four range the number of tag fighters we want available in a match. We can do that by navigating to this file here. These two lines are responsible for the number of tag fighters with the top line corresponding to the restored tag mode and the bottom line corresponding to the normal simultaneous mode. It's helpful to think of these lines as an easier way of implementing the 3v3 or 4v4 executables without the need to close and reopen Mugen to choose a different number of tag fighters. One thing to watch out for, however, is choosing two fighters in the normal simultaneous mode. Doing this emulates the regular properties of a multi-character versus match and not the properties of an AI-357 match. This means that during a versus match, the third character and beyond will be CPU controlled. Every other number in this mode will force an AI-357 environment where every character is human controlled for both P1 and P2. So. If you want to do a two character tag match while using Mugen Hook, you can remedy this by using the restore tag mode instead. Input two in this line for the restored unfinished tag mode, which will force every character to be human controlled, unlike the normal simultaneous mode to which this only happens when using three or four. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have some good matches. Join my Discord and consider backing me on Patreon if you want to see more videos like this, and I'll see you guys later.